our next guest is in our studio. If there was ever a time for you to watch us streaming on YouTube, it's oh, yeah. today. Yeah, absolutely. You will once see our guest in the flesh. <laughs> the felt. In the, felt. the felt. In the I felt. think that's better. Uh, performing tonight live in the felt at Helium Comedy Club, we have here in our studio, ladies and gentlemen, Felt Face. Yeah. Yeah. How we doing, folks? We all good? How exciting it is it to be on your show this morning? I am definitely a visual medium, so tune in. This doesn't work as well on the radio. <laughs> it's great to be here. I'm actually just here for my audition for the uh, band. I want to be the oh. singer of your karaoke oh. barbecue band. Can you, you have anything you could uh, present for us right well, now? Well, I, like I feel like having listened to the kind of songs you play, it's got to be like a what? We've got to do the full... <laughs> yeah. Po- we're doing rock and roll stuff. Right, right we're, we're rock yeah. station. Shut it now, that kind of vibe. <laughs> Yeah. A lot of that. Yeah. What, what's your it's a bit early. It's a bit early for me to crank out a high note. But yeah. What's your What's your favorite kind of music, Phil? Oh, I'm a metalhead from way back. So Are I'm you really? Real, I'm down. I'm down for this station. This is okay. this is this is my jam right oh. now. Oh, so yeah. you, like midnight. Oh, no, oh, you, you have an Australian accent. We assume I you're do. from Australia. Yes. Yes. Uh, and uh, so uh, midnight oil, perhaps. The oils. Love the oils. Chisels. Uh, yeah. Bit of cold chisel. You'd be cranking some chisels on <laughs> <Wow>. this. <laughs> yeah. No. Chisel. Not so much. ACDC, obviously. Yes. One of the greatest Australian bands of all time. Time. In yeah. excess was uh, was in excess. Yeah, but we don't talk about them. <laughs> <laughs> They're not rock and roll enough okay. at this station, all surely. Right. Oh no, we will play them occasionally. Yeah, so okay, all right, yeah. sweet. Sorry, I take that back. Uh, have don't you been, sue me, please. Have, have you been to Philadelphia before? I have uh, been to Philly. Okay. Uh, last time I was here, I did some. Sh- last time I was here was actually February 2020. Did wow. I miss anything? <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's happened in the meantime? What have yeah. you been up to? Yeah, <laughs> it's been a little. Uh, uh, I've, it's now, do you call your home? currently uh, I don't Australia? have a home currently. You don't have a home? Yeah, yes. Really? I'm just like an amphetamine riddled monkey on a conjugal <laughs> visit, just bouncing around the country, yeah, we, going wherever they'll take me. I am literally of no fixed address. Wow. It's just me in a suitcase. You know, so. and the legend is your story, your bio is Ooh. like very fluid. It changes constantly, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You've got to keep people on their toes. I've got 12 different backstories. Now, I'm like a, a spy. Am yeah. I correct in hearing that one of them is that you were born on the day that Lindy Chamberlain's baby was eaten by the dingo? <laughs> yes, that is actually true. I yeah. was born on the day that Lindy Chamberlain's baby was eaten by a dingo. As, as a, the movie Meryl Streep, uh, uh, Cry, in the, was Cry in the Dark, was it? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. indeed. And yes. so somewhere off in part of Australia, you were being born that very night. I was, on the what? very moment, and some say I'm filled with the spirit of that dingo. <laughs> Wow. Oh, yeah. Not the baby, the dingo. Not the baby. No, no, no not the baby, the dingo. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you know, take it or leave it, but that's true. You it's get true. what you get. You yeah. heard it first here on WMMR or whatever. <laughs> Where are we? WMMR. Yeah. WMMR. You don't say double M? WMMR. Yeah. You go WMMR. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what you do? Yeah. Like to WMMR. <laughs> What are you, 93.3, 93.3, WMMR. That's not bad. That's not bad. No. It's okay. That's my morning radio voice. I'm a couple of octaves lower. I like WMMR. Well, W-W-M-R. let's have a meet. Let's get the staff in here for a <laughs> snap staff meeting. We're changing the name of the station. <laughs> Rebranding. Yeah, after 50 plus years, we figure it's time. <laughs> WWM. No one ever calls it WWM because no. WWM is very satisfying to say. Yeah. WWM makes you think that there's two U's and two M's, not actually a W and two M's. <laughs> WWM. Since we're, since we're just meeting you, we've got to clarify. Oh, my God, we're just meeting. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you prefer Randy or do you prefer... Feltface. Feltface. Well, Feltface is technically my last name, my surname. So whatever you want to... I feel like Feltface is like, yo, Feltface, what's up? As opposed (laughs) to, hello, Randy. Randy is my name, but you can, you know, I like the Feltface thing. Preston, do you ever go by anything other than Preston? Uh, I have a couple of nicknames like P-Buds and... P-Buds! Yeah, yeah. Sweet! That was like my high school nickname. Yeah. I love P Buds. So I can tell P-Buds. it's a really good friend if they call me that. It's an old, old time friend. Oh, okay. So I haven't earned the right to call you P Buds yet. Not yet. <laughs> I have to purchase some narcotics off you in your shed. <laughs> to get some of that P Buds gear. It's slightly it's obvious where the name came from. Yeah, right. yeah, probably. Yeah. Steve, what do you got? Anything? Any, any nicknames? Uh, no. 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 When I was in elementary school, they'd make fun of me and call me Stephanie because I spell my name S T E P H E N. But I go oh. by Steve. So that's about a baldy, I guess. I guess is an obvious, but I don't get that. A and lot. when you yeah. spell Steve, is it S T E P H E, or you've gone it's for S-T-E-P-H-E-N. you? It's S T E P H E N. 
No, but Steve, where oh, do you pull S-T-E-V-E. the... S-T-E-V-E. Yeah, see, you've just co-opted a V from nowhere. I know. You've just pulled a V out of the air. It I appreciate that. No, you're right. Thanks for noticing that. No, no, no I have yeah, a yeah. silent V in my name as well. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's Ravndi when you pronounce it correctly. <laughs> it's an Australian thing, <laughs> you know. By the way, now you've got me curious, Randy. I don't think I've ever asked uh, the, the, our other cast members if they had had longtime nicknames like Kathy. Did you have a nickname growing up? I was not growing up. It was like... After it was like after college, when I first started in TV, they gave me a nickname that just annoyed me. So that's why they called but K Dog. K Dog. I'm like, yeah. The K Dog. Well, now that you've said that on radio, that is now what everyone is going to call you. K Dog, what's up? K Dog, man, P Buds is kicking it down at the shed. Let's hit it. What about you? <laughs> How about you, Marissa? Uh, I went by Mags in, co- Mags. in high school. Mags. 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 My brother was Mags. I was I- little Mags. And then once he went to college, I became Mags. Okay. And then my mom, my mom and like two other people in my life called me Riss. 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 Marissa. Yeah. Riss. Yes. Okay, I gotcha. Cool. And then we know that Casey was Fozzy. Well, no, my brother was Foz. I was little Foz. But the one that I probably got the most that was uh, not a hand-me-down in college, they call me Wiggles. And I love that name. Wiggles. Wiggles. That's right. Yeah. That's a great nickname. Thank so, you. Okay, folks, we're doing a phone-in. If anybody <laughs> wants to call in with their favorite nicknames on WWMR. <laughs> Hit us up. Mine's Schmuck. Since Schmuck. I, since, Schmuck. Yeah, Schmuck just is a great once name. Once I tried to get my truck out of the ditch with a forklift, that's who I am. <laughs> oh, my now. God. That's a callback to an earlier segment. If you weren't <laughs> listening, it will make no sense. Really? Oh, go ahead, Preston, go ahead. I, I wanted to ask, uh, you, you had a hey, special buds. that was out last year. You can call me P-Buds. Hit me. Uh, and it was called uh, Purple Privilege. Correct. And what was that? What was the, the, the origin of that name, Purple that, Privilege? Well, that was my origin story. Well, I am quite purple. Yeah. You see what I mean? And yep. I had to address the elephant in the room, the fact that I've managed to make it this far with this complexion. So uh-huh. it was kind of my origin story, that show. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but to, tonight at Philly, this is I'm doing all new stuff at Helium. Mm. This is a brand new. I'm actually taping the show tonight. Did oh, I tell oh. you that? No, yes. is this is this it's a, a taping? Is it a fully intact <laughs> special, or are you gonna? Is it gonna be part of a special of of different? places you're playing no this is like a fully Full. intact i think i'm only going to make it a half hour special wow because uh because there's stuff that i want to hang on to for next time i come here pay buds okay. but um <laughs> but yeah yeah it's going to be a it's going to be a helium special that's Me. exciting i know it's so exciting last night's show i did a show last night it was real good so i'm excited about tonight i think the philly audiences are pretty great you've been around for a long time and you have a mm. very loyal fan base uh people say if they hear oh this is Oh, this is a weird thing here. You got to know that what you're going to hear is uh, like a very sharp adult material. Yes. Yeah. That's... Yes. I need people. My face looks like I'm for children, but I'm definitely not. <laughs> yeah. Please don't bring your children. It'll ruin the taping. Consider your face too. What? What technically are you? What do you classify it as? Just some dude. Just some dude. <laughs> just, some dude. just some dude with a felty face. <laughs> I tend not to go into what I actually am. Okay. You know what I mean? It kind of ruins the magic. I but get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, but I don't know. I think you and I, we could be related in some I, distant... If- Land. If I was just purple, I think I'd be real close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I guess the uh, it's some sort of thyroid <laughs> thing with the eyes. It is a th- <laughs> it's an absolute thyroid <laughs> thing. Hey, Preston. Uh, just, I, I never blink. I'm just always clenched. <laughs> Preston, people are not calling you with their nicknames. I'm oh, sorry. fantastic. <laughs> I knew it. We did it. We did it. Let's get him on the line. Call right. a one. You're on the air. All right, we're going to go uh, We're gonna go to Stank. Hey, Stank, <laughs> good morning. You, what's going on? Yo, bud. All right, wh- why do they call you Stank? Well, my last name is Stankowitz. It's pretty unfortunate. So I'm actually, I'm actually the fifth. So everybody calls me Stank. You're the fifth Stank. Yes, sir. Oh man, that's well, but that does make sense. You as and also the rule of nicknames: you cannot give yourself a nickname. Do we all agree with that? Yes. All right, cool. cool. Sorry, you uh, ended up at Stank. Stank. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was actually I was in a bar one time talking to some girl. My buddy came up to me. He said, "Yo, Stank." And then uh, the girl was like, "Why do they call you Stank?" I said, "You want to mess around and find out." Close that to you again. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one there, Stank. <laughs> you yeah, Stank the fifth, too. It took five generations to come up with that line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any, um, Feltface or Randy, I should mm, say, do you mm. have any relatives? Is, is there any, uh, or do you have any family members at all? No, it's just me. I'm, the, I'm, a, I'm an endangered species. I'm the wow. last of my line. Well, that's that's going to be sad. tough. 
yeah, it is tough, but, yeah. you know, it also affords me a level of freedom and carelessness so I can just literally go wherever I want and do whatever I want. Well, okay. within reason, you right. know what I mean? You don't feel the, the weight of you, keeping the species alive on your shoulders? Or, or, do you live recklessly? Absolutely. Complete <laughs> recklessness. Look at this. I'm talking to you guys at this hour of the morning. I must have zero value of life at this point. <laughs> well, well, if you live recklessly, what are, what are your vices? Is there anything that you... That oh, you yeah, yeah. I'm into? a sober vegan so look out i'm into i'm basically i'm into bird watching now i just take my binoculars out and look at birds in the forest so it's life in the fast lane over here very rock and roll oh, yeah it's good times good times on the road but oh, you mentioned goodness. with pea buds and, and all of that stuff and mm. the the amped up uh, monkey and uh, have you had your your flings with um you know, uh, with with cannabis. Yeah, yes, I'm a sober vegan for a reason. Okay. I, I went pretty hard. I clocked it. I finished all the levels, <laughs> and then uh, decided I'd see what it was like to look through eyes that weren't filtered through all sorts of shenanigans. And Rain. now I'm a clean living, clean living guy. Randy, okay. do you, when, did you did you hit rock bottom at a certain point? You decided you had to change your life uh, and get cleaned up, or yeah, yeah. I was oh. in a bar one time, and uh, I turned to my buddy and I said, "Hey, stank." And then <laughs> I, just, I was like, "You know what? I don't want to live like this anymore, stank." Yeah. And I and I left the bar. No, not real. I didn't really have a rock bottom. I just realized that uh, if I managed to get rid of all that stuff, I would have more time to concentrate on my hilarious comedy, <laughs> which you can come and see tonight at Helium yeah, down yeah. there at wherever it is. <laughs> that, that, you know how to market. Center City, Philadelphia. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I'm just walking around Philly going, where am I? <laughs> I saw the Liberty Bell. And that was good. Well, thoughts? you know, there's like a door at the front. Yeah. The, and you go in and you, like, have to do security and there's a line. There was a long line to see the bell. If you just go around the side of yes. the building, there's a window. Yes, there is. <laughs> you can just stand there and look at it like a pervert yeah. through the window. So I just did that. I just hid in the bushes and looked at it through the yard. Uh, How did you nail... Liberty Bell with your crack through the window. <laughs> it's just that guy. You nailed it with so many people don't realise that, that that dumb line... I find the bell, I, I get it, but it's. I, I don't find it impressive at all. Okay, we're going to get calls and complaints <laughs> now. You can't go on air in Philly and say the bell is underwhelming. I, it is literally the reason people come to this city. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a long history of being a bell. I don't even know the history. What's the history? <laughs> oh, uh, man, there, there's a couple different stories, and, and I always forget which, ones are, which one is the actual one. It was attacked with a hammer by an amphetamine... Monkey. 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 Oh, I that's what did it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I forgot where it hung and why can... it was cracked and why it became such a big oh, deal. You know the history? You pay, call yourself a Philadelphia. Right? Uh, yeah. Terrible. <laughs> uh. Well, well, Casey's lived here his entire yeah. life, and you didn't even go see it until how old were you? Uh, it was probably seven years ago, something like that. Yeah. yeah. And the wow. only history I know of it was uh, I, I learned it on Family Ties. It was uh, Skippy, the neighbor who actually had uh, who cracked the bell. Who knew the... <laughs> Okay. I don't think that's legit. It's not, yeah, yeah. but uh, there was an episode where apparently they had uh, gone back and, you know, they do those special episodes yeah. where everybody's playing a different part and Skippy the neighbor was the reason why they, the Liberty Bell got cracked. All right, so you that's don't know the real know. history. So All right. I, I like that history better. Also, I didn't realize I was going to get like a, a Family Ties backstory <laughs> right. this morning. You got any other Family Ties trivia? You've got phone in this morning with your Family Ties trivia on. Well, I wanted to ask you, uh, Randy, what part of uh, Australia you hail from? I'm from Melbourne. Melbourne. Okay, so from Melbourne. From the what, cool city. The, the the first thing that pops into my mind, uh, well, no, that's Sydney is the opera yeah. house. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. That's oh, good. Man. That's good. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Why don't, what did, I don't does know Melbourne anything? have? Nothing. Terrible beaches and rain. That's in Melbourne? What we've got. Yeah, yeah. Really? But we've got the best music scene in the city. There's a lot of punk bars, a lot of rock and roll clubs. So. Okay, well, we, we uh, for many years, you know, the, the segment you heard earlier was a bizarre file, and, uh, you know, it's just odd stories, strange stories, weird things. And a majority of them, that the ones that come from Australia, mm -hmm. usually involve something really deadly uh, in the natural world. Yes. Animals. Yes. Uh, have you ever encountered any of the highly venomous uh, and scary things? Well, actually, there is a spider called Atrax robustus, which is the funnel web spider. Legendary. Right? That. Yeah, yeah. It's usually about an inch or two big. And the, the females can lay up to 120 eggs. I don't know if you know this. And they can live for as long as 20 years in the wild. And Randy, don't, and, they, don't they go into people's shoes and things like that? Yeah, yeah. And they can cause, they occasionally cause death, these little spiders. And But I... Uh, 
I just when I opened my suitcase here in the studio, <laughs> one of them jumped out and escaped under Son the door. Son of a bitch! So, yeah, pretty sure it was a female. Look pregnant. Sorry about that. <laughs> what, what is it? What about the kookaburra? Is that one that they have the big? The kookaburra? No, no, no. The uh, the cassowary. Cassowary. Oh, the, the cassowary. That's the big yeah, yeah. talon yeah. that'll. Yeah, your... they're they're amazing. They are proper dinosaurs. They only live in a very specific area of far north Queensland, though. Okay. So, you're not going up there unless you want to see someone on, along the lines of stanks. <laughs> there <laughs> lately, there's Wild been stank. a lot of stories, and and they're not really dangerous, but the huntsman spiders are terrifying. They're just big. They're, they're not. Gigantic. They're not. They can. You can have them crawl across your hand, and they won't mm, uh, do it. You can. They are, yeah, can. Yeah. Yeah. They are. They tend. To, they're very handy to have in the house, the huntsman spider, because they've got very little fangs, so they can't actually bite you, but they, they get all the insects from them. Okay. They, they clean house for yeah, you. Yeah, I'm not into those. No. I mean, they're, 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 I, it, obviously, sometimes they'll, they'll goose it up to get clickbait, but they look like they're, they're formidable, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean they're they're then they're, they're frightening if you wake up and there's one <laughs> above you on the roof. There's there you can have a little ceiling moment of a ah, kind yeah. of thing. But no, I I like the huntsman. I'm a big fan of the really? huntsman. Really? Yeah, yeah. They're a cool. They're a cool spider. Do you think I you mean, share similar uh, genetics? No, I'm full dingo. Remember? <laughs> that's, oh, right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, true. yeah, yeah. By the way, yeah. if you're just tuning in, it is uh, Randy Feltface who we're speaking to, and he's if you're just be... tuning in. What the hell is going on in here? <laughs> that's right. Uh, Helium Comedy Club tonight at eight o'clock, and is a uh, Taping live special. Um, how are you? Um, are you good at traveling? Are you? Are you pretty solid at that? I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't. There's a lot of delayed flights in this country, though. Yeah. It's, there's too many planes. Too many people. Too many planes. Would so you... I've spent a lot of time in like Dallas and oh. Chicago for no reason. Mm. You. Hey. You literally though live out of a suitcase, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Literally <laughs> and figuratively. Live in yeah. a suitcase. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. Randy, do you know what an antipode is? Do you have any idea what that that term means? Antipode. Antipode. Uh. Someone who is antipodean from from that is that. I'm, I'm technically Antipodean. I am from that part of the world. <laughs> uh, no, like the antipode of Philadelphia is uh, basically if you were to dig a hole straight through Earth, what would be on the other side? Oh. And Australia is the antipode, but I mean, it's uh, the antipode of Philadelphia is Augusta, which is uh, really far away from where Melbourne is. But it, right. but you're kind of like like right now, if you were to look directly down, you, you can see your yes. house. You can oh see my your God. house from here. Yeah. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> look at me now. <laughs> Look at me, I'm on Preston and Steve. Uh. Now who's laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've got a lot of enemies down there. I just... Speaking of which, uh, are you divorced? Uh, not well. Yeah, t that was one of the backstories, but yeah. not technically. Not technically. No, okay. never, never been married. Never had children. Oh. Recently had a vasectomy. What a flex! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. A few of us are snipped here. Oh, well. I love so, the snip. All yeah. about the snip. Get the snip. Yeah. Were you? Awake? I did freeze some sperm first, though. Oh, you did. Yeah, yeah you? I'm not going to make yeah, a yeah. decision like that without first Consulting. purchasing a couple of tickets to <laughs> Disney on ice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to plan ahead. You got to plan ahead. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Can I say that on yes. the air? Well, I just yeah. did. Why not? Too late to hit the dump uh, button now. Here we are. Were you uh, Were you awake or uh, asleep? When very they... much awake, but oh, they man. put the the general area to sleep. Oh yeah, which yeah, I yeah. was very grateful. Is that for. common? The uh, do most people opt for that local? Well, most people do. I opted for. Uh, uh, they they don't put you all the way out, but they give you propofol, and I don't oh. remember any of it. Oh, all. that propofol Thank stuff God. is amazing. It is. You just you just lose a chunk of time. Yep. No, that was I was just laying there on the table <laughs> while they went about their business. Ooh, yeah, it, it, I it, liked it. It was a good thing to do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you smell the burning skin. What does the <laughs> <laughs> just sitting there smelling the fusing <laughs> of my vast efforts? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good times. Good times. It's good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It, it, you you crave barbecue afterwards. It's a it's a wonderful thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, 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 so so uh, uh, while you're here, are you going to get? You know, you're doing about the Am I going to get another vasectomy? Another vasectomy? <laughs> Is that what we're going? Are you going to reverse it? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, you're going to get a chance to take in a little bit more of the city, or, or? well, I hope so. Today is my sort of day to to do that. So, okay. what should I see? What am I going to do? Where am I going? What do I well, need to do? Come on, hit me. You do need to have to have a cheesesteak. Are you familiar with that? Well, again, vegan. So, uh, props non. Oh, there are yeah, vegan right. cheesesteaks. Also, yeah. what even is the cheese? Is it just cheese and meat smashed together in some sort and of onions, horrific uh, onions? Uh, oh. Yeah, and uh, and cheese, and yeah, obviously on a, on a nice roll. But yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, it's it's a pretty basic sandwich, but it's really good. Now what they, is there. Are vegan vegan, there are steak. vegan options. In fact, Wilson's, Wilson's Secret Sauce, oh. their vegan cheesesteak is 
fantastic. It, it might w- not be vegan. It might be vegetarian. vegetarian. Yeah. Uh, no, I, he'll make it vegan, but he uses uh, vegan cheese sometimes. He uses okay. impossible meat and vegan cheese. It'll blow your mind, Randy. Wow. All right. Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm doing. I'm right. going to go and up the cholesterol <laughs> level today. <laughs> yeah. Eat some vegan huh? cheese steak. You might enjoy the the, the um, <laughs> is it mutter or muter? Uh, yeah. Mutter. Or, yeah, yeah. Some people do pronounce it muter. Museum, museum, which is a uh, medical anomalies. Oh wow. Where's that? I'm totally into that. Let's do that. In the city. Yeah. Right near helium. Tell you where to go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Go. It's near helium. Yeah. Twenty. Second and between Market and Chestnut. Okay. okay, great. If anybody else has suggestions for my day off, please call in right now. <laughs> WMR. <laughs> Let's get Randy's itinerary together. This is good. You are uh, you're quite popular on YouTube. Uh, I know, isn't it weird? I'm big yeah. on TikTok too, which oh, is very really? strange. Yeah, it's okay. weird. Uh, is it just um, are, are your TikTok videos from your shows, or do yeah. you? Yeah, okay. well, it started out with people just random children lip syncing to my material, just okay. finding bits online and, and mouthing along to the words, and so I developed a weird following that I didn't even know I had, and then I started posting on TikTok, and now people well, are like, "Oh my god, Randy, oh my god." <laughs> do uh, do felt face fans have like a name? You know, like a, there's Deadheads for the Grateful Dead. Someone Someone actually asked me this last night, and I don't know. Someone came up with the term uh, felt something, felties, felt heads, felt something, but okay. I um I can't remember. But I like I'm felties. open to call in right now if you want to name my fans <laughs> on WWE. Face heads, face heads, face heads, face heads. I like face that. heads. It's not bad. Face, face heads, heads. face heads, not bad. Felt yeah. feltoids. Feltoids. <laughs> Feltoids. Is okay, that could work. a little more well. science fiction-y. Yeah. Wow. Yep, yep, yep. All right, well, listen, we uh, we do have to take a break, but we want you to enjoy your time uh, in Philadelphia. And uh, like you said, you've got a strong fan base here, so tonight's show should be pretty awesome. Yeah. It's going to be unreal. I'm very mm-hmm. excited. And thanks for having me in the studio. What an absolute delight. It is a pleasure to meet you. I've, I've, I've seen your stuff online for, for years, and it's really cool to uh, to see you in person. So thank you for coming. Well, by, you man. too. I've been following your progress as well, and you're doing very well for yourself, <laughs> P-Buds. Thank you. Thank you. He buds, that. right? <laughs> yep, he got it right. Absolutely. Okay, tonight, heliumcomedy.com. That's how you get tickets to go to the show live taping of Randy Feltface. <laughs> He's dancing. At Helium. It's at 8 o'clock. He's dancing around. Yeah. He's having a good time. So. Ready to go. Excellent. Thanks for being here, Randy. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah. With yes. that, we're going to take a break. 